If any of you watch my videos regularly, then you'll know that I was disappointed in the release of Alluvium Beyond. One of the aspects that I was expecting on release were leaderboards. If anything, this small aspect helps to gamify the collection process, which overall just makes it funner. More fun? <laughs> Anyways, the big news is it's finally here. And man, did I get a shock. Now, I had always expected there to be rewards, depending on where you sit on the leaderboard. But the numbers surprised me. There are weekly rewards that you would earn for being on Olivia Beyond's top 100 list, with the top dog getting 12 ILV a week, 12, and those in the lower ranks getting half an ILV. Now, while these don't seem like much now, at least not when you consider half an ILV at the current token price, if ILV ever climbs back up to its previous all-time high, heck, even half of that, that's pretty sweet earnings for occupying the leaderboard. The first round of rewards will start distributing starting April 7th, so you have time until then to get your albums in order. A few things that really excited me about the leaderboard and prizes was that it seemed to solve two of the problems I thought Alluvium Beyond had. The first is the sheer number of accessories. Now that problem isn't completely fixed. Cloud noses still very much plague the market, but more people are keeping their accessories or buying accessories and actually bonding them to their Louvtars in order to increase their rank on the leaderboards. The second is that while tier four and tier five backgrounds have always been acknowledged as more rare, there are those who really didn't care much about the burst backgrounds or the difference between a stage one hex background or a stage three. Now it matters. An extra two to 300 points because of a background can mean a rank or two higher, depending on the alluvial it's attached to. Now, we'll be frank, it's a collection game. And to play the game, it requires cards, whether you get them off the alluvidex or from packs. This is a pay to win model. But just because you might not be able to make the top 100, doesn't mean that there aren't benefits to participating. For completing certain collections, there will be special emotes skins, and even battle boards, which you'll be able to play with once Alluvium hits open beta. Along with that, there will periodically be time-sensitive rewards. For example, maybe for this month only, you get 15% off an Atlas t-shirt in the merch store if you have the Atlas line completed. So, whether you're hitting the Diamond Club or rocking it in bronze, there's going to be a little something for everyone. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with the latest and greatest in the Alluvium ecosystem. Until next time, I'll see you on the flip side.